The USAC is super tough. It, the best of the best come through here, and to click off a USAC win would be huge, and it, I think it'd really help excel my career into what I'd like it to be one day. I called uh, Keith earlier this year after Chili Bowl, and I told him that I wanted to make the big step of trying to become a professional race car driver, and uh, Keith told me the best thing I could do is get out to Indiana, and that's where we started off. I got out to Indiana, and started working with him. Uh, plan was to work on the midgets uh, most of the races and then get to run his micro at his uh, challenge series and give back events. And a few things fell my way, opened up the door for me to fill in and kind of maintain the owner's points. And we were able to kind of come out the gate swinging and pulled off a win our second night out. In the shop during the week, we uh, a, a lot of the guys have kind of stuck in place roles like tire guy, car chief, and then crew chief. But um, I kind of just am everywhere really, just kind of helping where everyone needs me, but um, we're, we're short on tire guys, so I like to help out in that corner a little bit, and then when I can get that taken care of, uh, go and help maintain on the cars, but in between uh, each event, I'm helping on the car, whether it's changing spacing, bars, gears, uh, all the above. I'm always going constantly, never, never sitting still, but it, it's a blast. For the most part, I feel like it keeps me more focused, to be honest. It keeps me out of my, uh, my the bad side of headspace, I guess you could say. I'm always thinking about something, and so rather than the bad things, we're always looking forward, getting one thing done to get on to the next. So I think it kind of helps, helps me stay focused more uh, on what needs to be focused on. And so when it comes time to get behind the wheel, I feel like I'm still pretty sharp. When I called Keith, I told him that I just didn't want to become one of those helmet bag drivers. Uh, no, not to hate on those guys, but um, I really wanted to stay hands on to keep working and learning in that a sense, just in case the driver side of it didn't work out. I've always had a lot of belief in myself when it comes to working and racing on them, so it's just uh, kind of been, like you said, uh, living in paradise. We're still pretty new, but uh, Keith and Pete are super good guys. You know, they've the opportunity they've been willing to give me has just been super surreal, but more or less just putting in the effort to continue to work hard at it and uh, get back to being in victory lane every single night. I mean, all these guys work so hard to put out seven to 12 good race cars each night. It's, it's super crazy working with all of them and going out there and having that many cars inside the top 10 and sometimes even wiping the podium. So uh, really just nonstop uh, hard work yeah, just shows that it really does pay off.